I, I cannot wait for this. In this week's Health in a Handbasket, registered dietitian and nutritionist Emily Kyle joins us to talk about peanut butter and jelly day. Next, I'm dying to see how so you can exciting. make this work. It can work. It's like a staple in everybody's household, so we have to find a way to make it work. And just like anything when it comes to health, it's really about the quality of our ingredients rather than the quantity. Okay. So when you're making better choices with your ingredients, you can pretty much make anything healthy, including a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Right. So I'm going to get you started. First, we're going to talk about the bread, because mm -hmm. that seems to be really difficult for people, because when you go to the store, there's 50 different kinds of bread, yes. and it's difficult to pick which one is best for you. Right. I personally prefer prefer really hearty bread. We know for our type 1, type 2 diabetics, we don't really want a white bread because they've already taken out the dietary fiber right. and the nutrients that we want. Right. They, so, I, somebody said if you have white bread, you might as well have white cake. Exactly. Okay. It, it, okay. Pretty much. So you want to get the most bang out of your buck. If you're going to have some bread, you want some seeds, you want some fiber, you want some good stuff in there. So when you go to the grocery store, you want to make sure that the very first ingredient on your bread, it says, whole, whether it's whole whole wheat, whole grain, Grains. you want it to be whole because that means the nutrients are still intact. The more it looks like sandpaper is good too. Yeah, my husband good. calls it horse bread, <laughs> so it, it's personal preference. You have to learn to like what you like. I love it. I actually love it. I, the I, more I, fiber that you have, the better. So okay. my rule of thumb, when you're looking at the ingredients, the nutrition facts label on the back, you want to have more dietary fiber than you have sugar. Okay. So this bread is great. It has five grams of fiber, four grams grams of sugar okay. so you know you're pretty good that's there. good all right so moving on to the jelly we know that jelly for our diabetics can be a really a sure. source of sugar of course so I have a homemade chia seed jam that I made in the crock pot nice. super super easy have you ever had chia no. seed jam before I've had so chia all seeds. it is is fruit of any choice that you want and you're gonna mix in for every one cup of th fruit three tablespoons of chia seeds I just threw mine all in the crock pot overnight and it becomes thick it gives you everything really? that you want it's really, really cool. So I always thought making jellies and jams was some super hard process. Yeah, so this doesn't require any extra sugar, no pectin, no gelatin, no anything else. Because we know that the chia seeds naturally they soak up the liquid. Okay. So this is a great no added sugar way to try. Norma's looking over here. She's interested. Oh, yeah. It's yes. good. You should try it. Okay. Do you want to try the peanut butter and jelly? Sure do. It's yes. all for you. It's all for me, Norma. Do you hear that? It's all for me. And then of course, it's, you realize it's going to be hard to talk after. Yeah. Yes, I'll talk okay. about the peanut butter okay. because peanut butters, as you can see, we have tons of different kinds here. Mm. There's so many different mm. options on the market, but what you really want is a peanut butter that has nothing but peanuts and salt inside. Mm -hmm. You don't want anything else. So if you see partially hydrogenated anything, you don't want that. Okay. You don't want anything that has sugar or high fructose corn syrup. You're sweet enough already. You can get the sweetness from the fruit and the jelly. You just don't need any of the extra additives. People at home are now starting to make their own nut butter, so you're making their mm. own peanut butters, almond butters. That's a great option for people as well. All right, is it polite to when the <laughs> jelly is leaking out the back of the sandwich to lick the back of the yes, sandwich? Yes, it would be impolite not okay. to. Uh. So from the American Diabetes Association, uh. I also have a peanut butter smoothie for you. So I don't know, have you tried powdered peanut butter before? I have, yeah. It's really, really good. Yep. And for those who are watching calories or watching how much they're consuming, this has way less fat than traditional peanut butter. Okay. So it's a great way to add in that peanut buttery flavor without adding in the extra calories. What else is in the smoothie here? So simple, four ingredients. It's going to be almond Almond milk, frozen mm. bananas, powdered peanut butter, and then a mm. little bit of flaxseed for added nutrition. That's really good. Really good, right? Yes. Four simple ingredients, couldn't be easier, and it's a great way to enjoy everybody's favorite peanut butter and jelly. So the thing, rather than looking at what to avoid, what to look for, yes. when you go for the peanut butter, yes. you're, you're, well, you're trying to avoid sugar, so you're looking for trying low to sugar. avoid sugar, yeah, okay. but you really want as simple as possible on your ingredients list. Right. The less things, the better in this case. Okay. Peanuts and salt, and you're good to go. And the powder is good for a smoothie. Powder is great for a smoothie. It's a great way to add in that good flavor. And if people want to learn how to make the jelly and make the peanut butter yes. and use the peanut butter powder, where jelly is on my website, emilykylenutrition.com. Peanut butter smoothie from the American Diabetes Association. And I'm going to apologize to everyone who watched me <laughs> lick the back of my sandwich. I still ended up with jelly on my hand. It's really good, though, right? At least I didn't do it on television. That's right. Yes. Yeah. No, no one will know. No. Uh, weather, traffic, local headlines, all coming up next. Stay with us. Thanks.